Hello friends, welcome to machine learning interview question series by Knowledge Powerhouse. Let's go on to our next question. Question is, what is ensemble learning? So ensemble learning is an important concept in machine learning. Let's understand what is the answer. So in machine learning, we can have multiple models and we can have multiple algorithms. So what we can do is that we can combine multiple models and algorithms to get better performance in predictions. So this approach of combining the multiple models or multiple uh, algorithms is known as ensemble learning. Basically, the sum total result of all the models together may be better than the uh, result of any single model, right? So that way we can use ensemble learning. So it's a form of supervised learning and we try to well, like use multiple algorithms and combine them in different ways or we can combine the results in different ways so that we can get the level of performance that is acceptable for our problem. So basically the idea is that to combine and get the benefit out of multiple models instead of just relying on a single model. So in general, we get better performance from ensemble learning when diverse models are used, like instead of using same model again and again, we can use diverse or multiple kinds of models and therefore certain ensemble methods they promote the use of diverse models in learning so i mean in ensemble it can be like we are using different kinds of model or we can use same model with different kind of hyperparameters right and like and then we can get the results so both the ways are possible so there are two primary paradigms of ensemble learning one is sequential another is parallel right so let's see how, what how, what is sequential and what is parallel so in sequential ensemble, this is an example, you have an input data set and then you give it to some uh, model called SPM for classification. And then whatever is the result you get from SPM, you give it to decision tree, right? So it's a sequence, like from one uh, data model, you go to the next model and take the in output of one model to, as an input of another model. And from decision tree, we go to result. So that way, this is sequence of models that are producing the output. So the prediction output of one model is used as input for the next model. So this is a sequential one. The other is parallel ensemble. Here what we do is that we can divide the input data set into like you know two different parts and one goes to SPM and other goes to decision tree. And then whatever result we get that we combine. So here we are using multiple models in parallel. And the prediction results that we are getting from these models are combined to give the final output of the ensemble model. So what are the different types of ensemble learning methods? So there are like various types. Some of the popular ones are Bayes optimal classifier, bootstrap aggregating, it's also known as bagging, boosting, Bayesian parameter averaging, Bayesian model combination, bucket of models and stacking. Let's see each of them in detail. In Bayes optimal classifier, we try to do a classification as a classification technique. And in this, this is an ensemble of all the hypotheses in the hypothesis space, so which means on average, no other ensemble can outperform it. So which means the naive bias classifier that we have is a version of this that assumes that the data is conditionally independent on the class and makes the computation more feasible. So what we do is we collect the uh, like output from multiple models, right? From each of those parameters, hyperparameters. And then we say that this is the that overall result. So it's a base optimal classifier. Then we have bootstrap aggregating, bagging. So it uh, involves having each model in the ensemble vote with equal weight. So we give equal weight to each model. And in order to promote model variance, bagging trains each model in the ensemble using a randomly drawn subset of the training set. As an example, the random forest algorithm combines random decision trees with bagging to achieve very high classification accuracy. So random forest is an example of bagging where we have multiple decision trees, right? And each decision tree, we change the hyperparameters or classification criteria. And then the result of all of those gives us a very high classification accuracy. Then comes boosting. So boosting involves incrementally building an ensemble by training each new model instance to emphasize the training instances that previous models misclassified. So basically, it works on each model's uh, mistakes and like 
know, builds on top of that to provide a better accuracy in the next model. So in some cases, boosting has been shown to yield better accuracy than bagging, right? In bagging, it's more like a parallel. In boosting, it's more like sequential, but it also tends to be more likely to overfit the training data. So in boosting, sometimes we realize that it's uh, trying to memorize the data and then try to overfit it, right? By far, the most common implementation of boosting is AdaBoost. And there are some newer algorithms also that have been created on that. But AdaBoost has been a popular algorithm of boosting. Then comes Bayesian model averaging, BMA. So it's an ensemble technique that seeks to approximate the Bayes optimal classifier by sampling hypotheses from the hypothesis space and combining them using Bayes law. So unlike the Bayes optimal classifier, Bayesian model averaging can be practically implemented and hypotheses are typically sampled using a Monte Carlo sampling technique such as MCMC. So using that, we can combine some models. Then comes bucket of models. It's an ensemble technique in which a model selection algorithm is used to choose the best model for each problem. So we just pick up the best model for each problem. And when we test the model with only one problem, the bucket of models can produce no better results than the best model in the set. But when we evaluate across the many problems, then it will produce much better results, right? So that way we use bucket of the models so that on average we get much better results than any single model in the set. And I mean, this is like uh, sometimes also called as Bake Off contest. So we can use cross validation uh, to select the model. And then last but not the least, stacking. Stacking is also known as stack generalization. Here, it involves training a learning algorithm to combine the predictions of several other learning algorithms. First, all the other algorithms are trained using the available data. Then a combiner algorithm is trained to make a final prediction using all the predictions of the other algorithms as additional input. So it's a little like, you know, a different way. And we have a further video on stacking. So make sure to watch that session so that you can learn more about the stacking. All right, so these were the main uh, ensemble methods. Let's just do a recap. Stacking, bucket of models, Bayesian model averaging, boosting, bootstrap aggregating, bagging, Bayes optimal classifier. So if you have any other questions or if you have any comments, do reach out to us in the comment section. We'll be happy to answer that for you. And if you have a feedback, share us, share with us so that we can improve and make better sessions for you. And any topic that you want us to cover, do let us know. We'll be happy to cover that for you. Thank you and do subscribe to the channel so that you can always up to date with the latest information on machine learning.